All right, here's the second example for rotational motion. Problem reads, a circular disc with a mass of a half a kilogram and a radius of five meters rotates counterclockwise. So it's rotating counterclockwise with a velocity of four radians. So the initial angular velocity, omega i, equals four and uh, just so you remember counterclockwise is positive so this is four radians per second and that's a positive four uh, constant force applied giving a rotational acceleration the force opposes the motion so the net force opposes the motion in the picture you guys can see so now the angular acceleration that's alpha is negative two radians per second squared, All right? And that's what we've got here. Um, they want us to figure out the angular velocity. So omega F equals something, but what else do we know? We know something else. Oh, determine the angular velocity after it has rotated a half a revolution. So the Change in distance is one half a revolution. This gets a little tricky. From the definition of a radian, right? A complete circle, a complete path. The complete path, 360 degrees, is two pi radians. So a half a revolution, one half a revolution is 180 degrees or just pi radians. So that another way to say that would be pi radians. That many radians, just 3.14 radians. All right, uh, now what should we do here? Uh, we don't have any time. We can't have an equation with time in it. So we find the equation that doesn't have time. The equation that you're familiar with that does not have time in it should be VF squared equals VI squared plus 2AD. But now that we have to translate this into the rotational motions. So omega final squared equals omega initial squared plus 2 times alpha angular distance. This is your equation. They translate. So final angular velocity equals the initial angular velocity of positive 4 radians per second squared plus 2 times alpha, which is negative 2 radians per second per second, multiplied by the change in distance, which is pi radians. Omega final equals 16 rad squared per second squared plus, um, this is squared by the way, uh, plus this would be a negative 4 rad squared per second squared times pi omega final squared equals uh, 4 times pi so we get 16 radians squared over a second squared minus 12.5, six, six, whatever, radians squared per second squared. 16 minus that. 3.4336, da da da. Radians squared per second squared. Omega F equals the square root of that. 
And so we get the final velocity to be 1.85 radians per second. And that's it. Determine angular velocity after 1.85. It started at positive 4. It accelerated negative. It went against it. Been a half a revolution. That's how much it would slow down from 4 to 1.85.